Hello everyone, welcome to our video lecture series on HiSys and UNIT-Ignisim simulations. Uh, these lectures have been organized by www.unitoperations.com and today we'll be discussing a case study and we'll describe this case study right here. A stream containing these hydrocarbons, ethane, propane, isobutane and normal butane at 10 degrees Celsius and atmospheric pressure. So we will show you the PFT here. Uh, as you can see, uh, here is my the mixture of here is my mixture of hydrocarbons, and this is at 10 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere. So this is my feed condition, um, uh, and the flow rate of 100 kilomole per hour. So this is my flow rate. Uh, it's to be compressed to 50 psi. So this is a case of mixed units where you'd be using one atmosphere, let's say here, and you'd be using English unit here, 50 psi. So, we go for the 75 percent compressor efficiency. So, this compressor has 75 percent efficiency here. So, uh, and due to this compression process, of course, there will be a rise in temperature of this exit stream. So, it has to be cooled. So, this is my cooler here. In the cooler, this is cooled down to 0 degrees Celsius. That is what it says. Uh, compressed to 50 psi and then cooled to 0 degrees Celsius. The resulting liquid and vapor are to be separated as a two product stream. So, this is now fed into a flash drum here. In the flash drum, it is separated into vapor phase and the liquid phase. And our job is to uh, simulate this entire process here, which will give us the detailed flow rates and the composition at each point of this entire PFD. And we are supposed to use the Ping Robinson equation of state. So, whenever we go directly into the simulation package, we go for this fluid package here and we go for add and we go directly to ping robinson equation of state which we have this we have discussed a number of times before how to do it and then we go for the view and add the components here the components are of course ethane propane isobutane and normal butane so we add all these components together so these four components have been added so uh, next we what we do we go into the uh, simulation uh, environment. Uh, so, we have chosen the equation of state, we have chosen the components. So, we go into the simulation environment here. So, before we go into simulation environment, let us go back to the process again. In this process, as you can see that we have to have a compressor, we have to have a cooler and a flash drum. So, why not we do that? We add a, a compressor here. So, this is my compressor. We right click and bring it over here. We add a cooler. We right click and bring it over here and we add a flash drum. We right click and bring it over here. So, in this uh, compressor, uh, we write down the streams that will be entering in. So, this would be uh, stream 1 entering and stream 2 going out and the, the energy would be W compressor which will give you the compressor work. Uh, Uh, workload of the compressor and the parameter section you can see this is 75 percent efficiency that is default. In fact, in our problem uh, this is also 75 percent efficiency so we do not have to change it. So, we cross it out then we go to the cooler. In the cooler the stream 2 is entering as a feed stream and 3 is going out from the cooler and uh, the energy the heat load on this uh, cooler would be let us say Q underscore cooler. Uh, and uh, in the parameter section, we have to add the pressure drop. We are assuming the pressure drop in the heat exchanger section in the cooler is equal to 0. Uh, we have shown this before in your previous lecture series. So, we crossed it out. So, that connection has been done and then we go to this flash drum. In the flash drum stream 3 is entering and stream 4 which is a vapor we are going out as a vapor stream and st stream 5 as the liquid stream. So, let us go here as you can see 4 is the vapor stream and 5 is the liquid stream. So, all these connections have been done. Uh, next what we have to do is just go to the workbook. First, we define the compositions and the compositions if you can see uh, here. 
uh, 15% ethane, 20% propane, 60% isobutane and 5% normal butane. So we go here and we put this as 0 0.15 and then this is 0 0.20, 0 0.20 then we add 0 0.20 six zero and then we add zero point zero five so all these things add together to zero point uh, one point zero as you can see one point zero the composition has been defined so the next part is very easy so we go to the material stream and we add the uh, uh, three other parameters the motor floor is 100 kilovolts per hour and of course the temperature is and you can come here temperature is 10 degrees celsius and atmospheric pressure for the feed stream so we put here 10 degrees celsius and one atmosphere pressure one uh, atmosphere here and uh, in the compressor section what we have to do so this is compressed all the way up to 50 psi so in the compressor which is two stream going out it has to be 50 psi going out so let's put that here and so as you can see both stream one and stream two are defined which we see that these have turned deep blue so these systems are defined now the moment we define this temperature here this stream will also be defined so in the temperature section as you can see that this has been from the, from the compressor uh, it is entering the cooler where it is cooled down to zero degrees celsius so we go here and we put this is zero degrees celsius the stream temperature is zero degrees celsius everything else of course is defined we have rolled it to be the same and the pressure of course will remain the same as it is coming out of the compressor so this system is defined and the immediately this stream as it enters it will just flash into this vapor stream and the liquid stream so as you can see here this defines all the flow rates as you can see after this 100 mole 23.3 4 moles would be going out as a vapor stream and 76.6 would be going out as the liquid stream right here so this is 100 mole coming in and this is a vapor stream and this is a liquid stream so all the flow rates are given and if you want to see the composition so these are my inlet compositions right here and these are my compositions uh, of, of the vapor vapor stream and these are my composition the liquid stream so as you can see this is a well balanced uh, uh, separation of hydrocarbons of course ethane and propane will be selectively more in the vapor phase and of course more and normal butane will be selectively more in the liquid phase so that's what it is you can also see what the temperature is once it comes out of the compressor the comes the compressor the temperature is 57.79 degrees celsius so this temperature is 57.79 degrees celsius you can also see the energy requirement so this energy requirement kilojoule per hour is 3.90 for the compressor and the, for the cooler this is the energy requirement you can of course change this one to uh, you, uh, the power requirement here and uh, you can change this one to kilowatt as you can see 109.2 kilowatt um, uh, amount of energy would be required to compress this gas this could be changed to horsepower also so that's how you do it you do the uh, simulation of a very simple case of a compression and flash separation we'll see you next time